Hi guys, I'm Maya. I'm Julia. With Lineup and welcome back. So today we're going to have this kind of thing called girl talk where we're going to talk about, you know, stuff that people want to listen to, want to talk about maybe with their friends and just like topics that are up and coming a lot recently. And in this episode, we're going to talk about sort of like body image, weight gain, confidence, stuff like that and we hope that you guys will learn something from this video and that we can learn from each other so comment your comments and stuff and just you know yeah just let us know watch. this is our first time doing this like having this type of episode. exactly we're thinking of doing the next one with like kind of relationship advice liking guys and stuff like that and you know if you guys want to hear that then give let us a thumbs up <laughs> so we're not doing this for no one <laughs> Okay, but I went on Instagram and then asked uh, you guys what you guys wanted to know and stuff like that. So the first question is, how do you overcome insecurity? Seeing so many pretty girls on Instagram makes me feel inferior. You just gotta stop comparing yourself to other people. You just kind of gotta remember that you as an individual is the only, like you're the only person in the world that looks like you and that has your personality. So like, you can compare yourself to other people like on the gram and stuff like that but you can't really do that it's like it's like it's like comparing one flavor of ice cream to another you can't because they're so different you know what i mean so why would you compare yourself to a whole another human being that's you know was brought up in a different way has different parents has different morals i just feel like later like you're gonna start to realize that you can't do that because you guys are so different as individuals like why you're like the only specimen of you in the world ever so why would you kind of take the time to like compare yourself and say i don't have this i don't have that but you look at stuff that you do have and be more positive about the stuff that you have like the traits that you have that no one else has i feel like you should start instead of looking at stuff that you're lacking maybe looking start to look at stuff that you have and that no one else has like your personality or maybe your eye color or i don't know like your legs or whatever you start thinking about focusing on focusing, the positives. exactly instead of taking your time you know kind of beating yourself up about it especially on social media that's very mm, it's very it's, hard it's easy to forget that social media is just like a mirror like a window of a person's life it's it does not show the full story it does not show all the hardships the insecurities the i don't know hard life whatever this person that you think you're so jealous of um what if this person might be jealous of you or being feeling insecure because what they actually portray through instagram is not actually the truth about their own life so everybody has insecurities and you may think that Instagram is just like oh it looks like they have like the perfect life the perfect skin the perfect whatever like we deal with hardships all the time and people think that we have flawless skin or whatever like I, I have major like skin issues and like um, we've been having like um, we've been dealing with like weight gain and stuff but this is just like something that we just like have for ourselves and that people don't really notice because they only focus about these positive things that we post we're all human beings and we all have our own issues that we might not just post on our instagrams and you just you have to remind yourself that what's important is you in your real life and not comparing yourself to other people that are on the media definitely so i've gained some weight lately because of new meds how do you feel better about not fitting in any of my old clothes okay so this is me right now okay so like this past few months i've gained like i gained a little bit of weight but i cannot fit in anything that i wore like even in like january like i remember we went to the philippines we went to vietnam and like denim shorts that i wore during that trip i cannot fit in right now and honestly it doesn't really like it doesn't bother me that much i just you know there's like some stuff that i like now more now that i've gained weight and stuff that i don't like obviously but feeling better of, of yourself you know when if you can't fit in your clothes i just like i legit just clean out my closet and then just got new clothes <laughs> that fit me because you know what it, it will just make you feel so much better having a pair of pants that are your size like you don't you don't need to care about what size 
it is as long as it fits you and it looks good on you then that will legit boost boost you up like so much better like i remember trying on my shorts i'm like shit i don't fit in these anymore so i went and got a new pair of shorts the next day that fit me really well and i look really good in them people that kind of they kind of let this thing affect them way too much are sizing and the numbers on your clothing but you gotta remember that all sizes are different and people are built differently so maybe even if I, even if i'm let's say someone that's really thin has a size two another person that also has size two but she's thicker i mean it's the same size but it will just look it will just look differently on different people so you can't really go into that and say that you feel bad because you're a bigger size it's like just get that out of your mind right now as long as the thing fits you then it looks good on you like i've gained like two or three pant sizes just like the last six months i mean i like it better because you get your you get the size that fits you you know what i mean so get away you know get rid of all those clothes that don't fit you and get new ones that do and you're just gonna feel so much better about yourself like legit and i also think it's important to remember that what why is the norm being stick thin it's not we're not trying to be victoria's secret models out here that do not eat don't skip your meals it's nothing wrong with gaining a bit of weight i've also gotten a bit thicker lately uh, not, not necessarily that my clothes don't fit but my body has started to look differently than what it did from one year ago and i'm honestly so happy about that i feel like i've been wanting to have thicker thighs a thicker like thick, a bit thicker arms or whatever because that's kind of the body image that i've been putting myself into like i've stopped looking at these unreasonable skinny models that like i know i'm petite but i can still look at petite girls that are a bit thicker and i feel like oh wow i think they're so cute and i would love to look a bit more thicker and healthier and not just like skin and bones there's nothing wrong with gaining a bit of weight and i honestly think that thick girls are so beautiful skinny girls of course also but i think we're all too focused on skinny is the norm and we should all be skinny and like gain, gain weight is bad or whatever like my my butt has grown like one or two inches this past few months and i absolutely love it i think you guys should also be a bit more open of gaining weight because there's definitely nothing wrong about it so what do you think about body hair i mean what is your opinion on like shaving and then this is another question but i feel it's like the same thing any advice on like feminine care Mm. like my legs I don't really grow that much hair but I do have hair and like I can feel them but they're just really thin because I never shave my legs if I do anything with my hair it's waxing or epilating so my hair has but my body hair has actually gotten thinner so now I've been walking around all summer and not really bothering like doing anything with my legs I just feel like why if guys don't have to do it why do girls have to do it of course i do like it when i do get a wax because my skin gets super smooth and whatever but it's never for someone else it's just like i have really hairy arms and i love my little fluff but during summer i can tend to like remove them just because like it just gets a bit smoother but otherwise what about you mm, i'm a really hairy person like I, i'm a really hairy person like i have really dark hair as well so like compared to my skin, you'll see like I have, but now they're a little bit blonde because I've been in the sun, but I have really hairy arms, I have really hairy legs. Um, I'm just like a really hairy person and I, I'm not really like that bothered of it. I will shave my legs, but I'll shave like the the half of it. I won't shave my thighs because I don't, I don't like that. I think it's weird. Actually, I shave like, like up my, to up to my knee. And the thing is, I don't know, this is so weird, but I have really hairy like under leg, like you know like this this section like under your thighs? Like I get so much hair there. And I remember when I was younger, when I was like in my that was like in my teens, like a lot of people would comment that they'd like touch it and they'd be like, oh it's fluff. And I'm like, yeah, but like I don't care, so why are you commenting on it? I feel like I as a person have never cared that much about my fluff but then when like people like my friends started commenting about like coming touching about it, touching my hair so i'd be like yo this is like i think it's okay so what gives you the right to comment on my body hair so you just gotta make it clear that 
if you don't care, then you don't care. Then you gotta be, you gotta tell your friends or tell people that are commenting up to stop fucking commenting about because if I don't care, then why should you? You know what I mean? It's not your hair, it's my hair. I get to do whatever I want with it. Um, so you should really just like, if you don't care, then just make it clear for everyone to stop commenting about it. Because I remember that's something that I thought about a lot when I was in my teens because a lot of my friends really commented about it and I'd just be like, okay, yo, stop. Like stop commenting like legit i don't care about it so you shouldn't and i don't know i just feel like because i'm like i just like i like the look of like you know like smooth or like it looks like clean yeah, so i shave my legs like the first you know like to my knees and then i wax my bikini area because i can't shave there i tried it like once like when i was like i don't know like 16 or something i was just like oh i just gonna try it out but like i couldn't i couldn't do it like it didn't remove the hair all the way I got like you bumps. know like subbles and bumps and it wasn't cute so I decided no tooth shaver down there so I get a bikini wax because mm -hmm. I feel like that's way better yes and do it as a, at a professional like I do Brazilian as well I just like that's the only thing because I feel more comfortable having that clean but otherwise let it all grow if y'all want to. If you mm -hmm. want to remove it, remove it. But don't let anyone else tell you what to do with your body hair. It's just like, we're all hairy people. Just let it be. So that was it for our first episode of Girl Talk. We really hope you guys like this concept. If you guys do, please give it a thumbs up, comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, let us know what other topics you would like us to talk about. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Bye. Adios.